KTN News. And away from the Shakahola horror, more than a thousand houses in Kisumu have been carried away by floods and hundreds of residents are displaced as floods continue to ravage parts of the country. Residents are now seeking the help of the government to be taken to safety as they claim to have lost a property. Our reporter Esther Diana with more. Hundreds of Kisumu residents have been displaced as a result of flooding. According to statistics by Kisumu County, it is feared that over a thousand houses have been carried away by the floods. <laughs> residents are now calling on the county and national government to intervene and give a permanent solution to the recurring flooding. <laughs> Kolwa in Kisumu East constituency is one of the areas that are most affected by the flooding. Many residents of this constituency have been forced to evacuate their houses due to the ongoing heavy rains. Residents say the floods has disrupted their source of income. My toolbox has been swept by the river, by the water, so I'm starving. I'm just walking along the road. I cannot feed my young ones, I cannot feed my family, I cannot feed my relatives. Kisumu County says it is on the forefront rescuing residents to safety. The county, however, fears that if the heavy rains continue, more people will be affected. Other parts that were gravely affected are Kolwa Central, Kolwa East and Kabonyo Kanyagwal. Tunaomba serikali kwa unyenyekevu wakiweza kupata njia za kuzuia hii maji, waweze kupata hata hizo matractors, waweze kuzuia angalau tuweze kuendelea na kazi yetu ya kawaida. The meteorological department had earlier warned of the heavy rainfall in the country. Speaking to KTN News, the meteorological department said that parts of the western, central and northeastern parts of the country have witnessed heavy rainfall. Uh, we were seeing the possibilities of some uh, improvement or uh, a high amount of rainfall expected generally over several parts of the country. So when I'm saying several parts of the country, you can say around 60% of the country. That percentage is a bit high. And uh, we were also seeing the amount or intensity going up. So based on what has been happening, mm -hmm. we, we saw that uh, the rainfall that we were expecting may also cause some uh, disruption of uh, socioeconomic activities in, and other things. Eh? So we expect this kind of weather to continue. Uh, as you are aware, we issued um, the, the long range forecast that is um, March, April, May, and uh, normally the peak is April. And uh, we had said also the peak is going to be towards the end of April. Mm -hmm. That is where we are. This is not the first heavy rainfall to be witnessed this year. Early this month, flash floods were witnessed in Taita Taveta County, causing casualties. Parts of Nairobi were also submerged in floods, and following a heavy downpour, parts of Mombasa were also flooded on Saturday. For KT News, I'm Dombi Esther Diana. The Tanzanian Maasai pastoralist community of Umsomera.